Utah, who quarterback? Who is who's who's the who's going to uh, be the quarterback for Utah? I'm all flabbergasted from this. I was watching Locked On Utah, uh, Locked On Utes. So shout out to those guys at Locked On Utes. Um, nothing but respect for any channel that creates. Although I'm going to talk shit, I genuinely have respect for you. He thinks, and he stated this in his show today, that Cam Rising will come out and play. He stated he thinks gonna keep, they're going to keep it close to their chest, which we I stated a few weeks ago, I don't think we're going to know literally until they're jogging onto the field who the starter is going to be. He's stating that. I know a lot of other people are thinking Bryson Barnes. That kind of was the, what the message came out. I think we won't hear much more of it until the season starts, to be honest with you. Um, but again, back to what I was saying, look, I think Cam Rising gives you the best opportunity if the game is close at the end. I don't think here he's going to make that much of an impact early on, and I don't think Bryson Barnes is going to keep you out of it that early on just because of the system that, that, that they've created. Uh, mind you, their second-string quarterback, who was a freshman, uh, lacerated his liver or kidney or something, so he's out. So the guy that's coming in played last year. He started against Washington State. He won that game, mind you, with 175-yard passing, which is typically what Cam Rising would come in and do. Um, but... And I stated this before, you come down to the wire, if you're down 23-26, Cam Rising is your best guy to give you the W. I don't think Byron Barnes is. But, Dave, you have your thoughts on Mr. Barnes, and if he were to step in, tell us about it. Yeah, he's appeared in six games, 59 passing attempts. He's thrown for 66.7%, but only 59 really passing attempts. I mean, you got to have a little bit more than that. Five touchdowns, two interceptions, 152 yards rushing. He's averaged eight yards an attempt when he's rushed the football, but only for 11 attempts. So, I mean, he's been productive as he's been on the field. So, um, you know, against, you said, Washington State, I mean, those people don't really have that great of a defense, I wouldn't think. But, uh, I mean... You know, you got the Cam Rising situation, and I remember saying a couple of weeks ago, I was just like, if they can dig him six feet under and bring him back to life and have him come and play against Florida, they'll do it. <laughs> so it's like, I guess it just depends on how injured Cam Rising is. He's not going to be 100%. I mean, but but will he be, you know, will he be 100% enough to be able to step into his throws and throw a football? From what I've seen that they've put out there you know how they had that cam rising clip of him throwing the football it didn't really look like he stepped in front in, in that throw and then they didn't put like his leg on the camera so you couldn't really see anything below the waist anything. you wanted to see something below his waist i, I did i just wanted leg. to see what was going on down there and, and not his other leg but uh yeah i think um just that, to the news dave you know, bryson bryson, <laughs> bryson barnes probably will play the majority of this game i believe he will but i, I would not be shocked if you see cam rising on the field but it just I, I don't know. They're going to keep that thing tight knit. They're not going to give Florida any clues to how healthy Cam Rising is, and and, and of course, I'm sure Billy Napier and the staff. I there, don't think Billy. I don't think Billy gives a damn. And I I, I, I I want Cam Rising. I don't. I don't. I yeah. mean, like I think we. I think anybody who's a competitor doesn't want any. Like it's always a nice little treat when it doesn't happen. But I, I want you at full strength. I mean, we we talk about this. You're they're going to be a ranked top twenty ranked team. Once at your best, want to go in there and see what we can do because look. Cool. Like, let's say he doesn't play and we get by Utah. Does that give us a true testament of what Florida is able to do? No. I, I want to see us up against a really good football team, the defending Pac-12. You know what's going to happen? If Cam Rising plays and we beat him, they're going to say, oh, he wouldn't 100%. So they're going to have sure, excuses. Sure, sure. And that's going to happen regardless. But I at least rather have that body of work in there versus, I mean, look, Barnes can come in and, you know, ball out too. I'm not trying to take any, anything away from Barnes. But um, I think, yeah. you know, it just you're, you feel more comfortable going into it. Stevie? Well, well, speaking of like you know digging up you know Cam Rising out of the uh, out of the grave and uh, and and putting him out there, I mean, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, he has a cadaver ACL <laughs> that they just put his knee back together with, so a little part of him might be dead inside. That being said, um, look, it's it's early in the year, okay? So you're you're playing your first game. Even coming off of an ACL injury and something significant on on that level of an injury, you can play through it because you haven't put too much wear and tear on a, a joint or a, a surgery that's coming back. Look, I, I'm telling you right now, and we've seen this happen time and time again, and I'll use Greg Jones, a running back from FSU, who came back from a an ACL tear, he looked like the baddest beast on the planet for about the first four or five games of the season. But that 
knee wasn't ready yet. And he didn't tear again, but it got tired and his legs got tired and he was having to overcompensate. So even if Cam Rising comes back, it's so early in the year that even with an ACL injury, you can probably play an entire game at 90% confidently. He's not going to be 100, though. No way. No way he's 100. It's no just way too 100. soon. It's, it's just too it, soon. It's too soon. It's too soon. But you're not talking about playing him in game four where he's had to put wear on that knee and he's had to you're test that fresh knee. As, fresh as, you're getting but also, him, too, you're it's, getting it's important fresh as to know, like, hey, if we can wait two to three games, four games, right, to let him fully rest. Right. And think about big picture. But they it's, want that. They want that win this that that first week. I know. Let me let me finish. And that's yeah. what I was just about to say because the FSU LSU game. We've talked about how big of a game it is simply due to the hype. It's going to be two top ten teams going after it. You want to win that game, but it does not define your season. And I feel the same exact way for Utah because it proven they lost to Florida last year. But if they didn't lose to Oregon, and I think they lost one more time, they go. I think no. I think they just lost to Oregon and they lost in the bowl game. But if they 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 lose they lost that game and they end up going on they in that losing to Oregon and they win the Pac-12 championship they would have been arguably a playoff caliber team a, they could have been fighting for a spot them losing to Oregon really knocked them out of it my point being is if they go okay look Cam Rising gives us our best shot to win Barnes is going to keep us close but mm. if we look at big picture here let this man get four games because I think the next four games are, are cupcake for for uh, Utah because they're, they're playing the Pac-12 huh. I said their whole schedule. Yeah, I know. They're playing the Pac-12. And I have something else to go back to shit talking in just a minute about that. But what, what's, what's an extra 30 days do? I mean, th- think about that, right? So so you're saying that if he... I think one, if you if you go in that first game and you're 90% and you put any kind of tear on it, th- at that point, there's no getting to 100. But all you're doing is adding an extra 30 days of That's rehab. That's huge. 30 That's days? Huge. Yeah. You think 30 days 30 is days be- and four less games on the knee is massive to, f- to finish out the year. You're not wearing down that... Like, think about your energy bar, like in a video game. Right, and you're slowly kind of trinkling it down. If you wait four games, then that energy bar is towards the end of the year. If there is, again, I'm I'm getting super detailed, like I'm a fucking doctor. No, I get it, I get it. That's what we'll, that, that, that's why we're here. Yeah. We're, we're past the recruiting talk for the most part. Um, I just we're, think we're look, like football. big picture, is it worth the risk? I mean, wh- where's the risk level stop? Is it is it? it, it let's be honest, man. And uh, an ACL used to be a year long. Yeah, it's definitely shorter. And look, he's, not, he's a running back. Months. He's not a linebacker. He's not a lineman, right, where you're having to explode off of it. Right. So there's a lot of, you know, things that he ha- doesn't have to deal with, like who somebody else where it takes longer. Um, now, he was a big-time runner last year. He made, made some big plays on his legs. Mm. Is not going to be as versatile? We'll see. Uh, I now, think the he, defense is he, – He better not get hit a lot. Yeah, and I, look, I think the I, pressure I think, is going to be brought that regardless. that what's happening. Yes. Let's, let's be, so if, if, if Billy – is wise, and I think that Rising does start that game. If Billy's okay. wise, he blitzes like a bastard the entire first half. It's awesome. He I'm tries to you, to, sir. It's sir Armstrong to you. Whatever. <laughs> we'll see how he goes in in November. Um, but if, if he's smart, you can't do. It. Hold on, hold he, on. He no, keeps, you stop. Quit bringing up FSU and Florida shit talking. We are not even there yet. Don't even start with me. Okay. You think because you're going to go on double slaw and no panties that you can all of a sudden just start holding your shit now? No. Have some respect. We're talking about Utah versus Florida. Oh, my gosh. You <laughs> sit your ass down right now. You, I can't even look at you sometimes. <laughs> at the end of the day, if, you're, if, if your quarterback or, or your, your, your head coach is smart, you're going to blitz the hell out of the quarterback to Real see quick, if he can t- test his knee. Before we go on to the next show, does you start to play yes or no for Cam Rising? I think he plays. Dave? Yeah, I think he does, dude. I'm going to say he doesn't. It'd be different.